One of the oldest and most effective ways of dealing with future water problems is rain water harvesting. This is a, an age old technology that's becoming very popular again. In fact, there are hundreds of homes in the Austin area of the hill country that rely on rainwater collection systems for their water supplies. Sometimes even for potable water that they drink inside the house as well as all the non-potable uses inside and outside the house. It works very simply. The water is caught on the rooftop. A suitable roof material is, is constructed like a, a, a proper metal roof and is collected in the gutters and taken to a cistern or a very large storage container on the ground in a tank or maybe in the ground in a, in a tank buried. And that water supply, just like a municipal water supply, but now at the household level, is able to supply the needs of the house during wet periods and dry periods. But what happens if everyone used rainwater harvesting? Wouldn't that reduce the amount of water that recharges the aquifer? Well, in my calculations for the Barton Springs area, 10,000 homes would only reduce the recharge over the entire Barton Springs aquifer by about 1%. At the same time, if 10,000 homes, which would be about half of all the production of water from wells today, were using rainwater collection instead of pumping from the aquifer, we would see 10,000 more homes built without any significant change in the production of water from the aquifer, instead of going 50% further down towards no more spring flow. Add to that the effects of capturing that runoff from the rooftop, which otherwise would wash off into the gutter and the driveway and the streets and the storm sewers and cause more pollution of the aquifer itself. We're saving on the non-point source pollution problem as well. So it's a multiple benefit opportunity. Many people have been working on the protection and the management of the Edwards Aquifer for a long time. Uh, I've been looking at it and working on it in an academic way and in a practical management way for more than 25 years. And as I look out at the Barton Creek, the drainage way through here as it goes right into the middle of Austin behind me, it's, it's both a, a miracle that it still exists and is a place to swim and enjoy and walk because of all the growth that has occurred around it. But it's really a increasing concern and a responsibility that many people feel, and I certainly feel myself, to really protect this resource and make sure that we do all we can to make it available not just for us today, but our children and grandchildren in the future. It's both a huge challenge and a wonderful opportunity.